thanks to Fidelity for sponsoring a portion of today's video. What's going on guys? It's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another daily vlog. I just woke up mm, about an hour ago. It's like nine something, probably almost 10 o'clock. So for today's vlog, you already know I take you guys with me everywhere for every vlog, but I did want to give you a little bit of a life update. You know, I moved into the new place. I'm really enjoying it here and I love it. But first we have to get ready for the day, get a good shower in and get cute. <laughs> ready for the day i'm about to put on these socks it is cold and on top of that every single day it has been raining and it's gonna literally rain for the whole week but at least i have these fluffy socks i have to go to my sister's house really quick because i need to drop off an sd card for her i also need to do some voiceover stuff so let's walk over to my sister's house should i walk yeah i'm gonna walk she actually has eggs and stuff like yeah i'm coming here me and my sister just finished up our work that we had to get done for the day we are still in between houses getting stuff picking stuff up so Got some stuff to organize my kitchen and my bathroom and I'm really excited about that because I just like organizing. It's really aesthetic. So I don't know. I just I like buying stuff to organize because then it makes the organizing way more fun. Alright guys, I'm back home. You know I went crazy shopping. I got some really good stuff. I want to, you know, get into some organizing now because I think being organized is very important and I have a much bigger space to actually keep organized. It's not just my room at home. It's my room, my kitchen, my bathroom, everywhere. I love that. I got some pans to bake cookies because I realized the other day, I was like, bro, cookies will buzz, but I don't have any pans. Now I do. I think for me, the craziest thing about adulting is being a human okay i don't know if this makes sense i kind of relied on my mom a lot for telling me about like just different things that were coming up in my life like appointments literally everything I'm not even gonna hold you now that i'm actually adulting i was like wait 
I have to think about things. I have to like make a calendar in my own head and actually have an idea of what my life looks like outside of my mom reminding me. Now, don't get me wrong, she'll still blow up my phone and remind me, but it is required when it comes to adulting to at least have a mental calendar going on somewhere in your brain, like somewhere. And I definitely do, but I really need to organize this drawer because it's got a whole lot of mess going on. So I've gotten a lot of comments on previous videos just asking about how I moved out at 19, tips on adulting at such a young age, and I guess pretty much just what my process was and how I did it. So I was hoping to give you guys a little bit of insight in today's video on just how I moved out at 19 alone. Now I can't lie, I did have full support from my parents and that played probably the biggest role out of all. I think without their support, I don't know if I would have had the confidence to do this so big thanks to them now don't get me wrong i'm not an expert i've not even been out moved out for very long but this is something that was in my playbook for a very long time i want to thank fidelity for sponsoring this portion of today's video because i've moved out now i have to be more mindful of saving and spending and budgeting and saving has become a very big priority now that i'm adulting i need to make a plan for my money i need to budget I need to make some saving goals. If you're not sure what steps to take in managing your money, Fidelity can help you feel more confident in handling your money and can teach you that your money has the potential to grow no matter where and when you start your financial journey. Fidelity has really cool digital learning tools using relatable examples such as savings calculator, budgeting game, and budgeting tools. Fidelity can relate to your challenges and they have the experience to help you navigate through whatever you're experiencing in your life and reach your goals. I have to get my money right now that I'm adulting. Learn more with Fidelity by clicking the link in my description. Thank you Fidelity for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have been financially ready to move out for a while now, but what I had to really get in order was my mental. My whole mentality had to be in the right state for me to even consider moving out. One of the very first things I did when I turned 18 was actually get a credit card. And thanks to my mom for always stressing good credit my whole entire life. The only thing she's ever said, well, okay, not the only thing, but one of the most important things she's always said was literally don't mess up your credit score. Don't mess up your credit score because you need that to purchase things. So yeah, you can have the money to buy a house, a car, but you also have to have good credit. That's very important because let your credit be not good. You can't buy a house or a car because then they're gonna think you can't pay for it. And if you don't have money to buy it in cash, then don't buy it at all. That's one of my staple rules when it comes to my credit card. I only like to use my credit card for things like gas, maybe groceries here and there, but things that is like a reoccurring purchase that I can pay off every month so that they can see I'm a financially smart individual. Another thing, I try to always keep a low balance on my credit card and never spend more than 30 percent like then they're just gonna be taking advantage of you girl because that money's making interest hello i was able to get approved but for my own apartment with my own credit and my own income and that was a really really big accomplishment for me and maybe because i'm still on the younger side of things but it felt really good to be able to do that on my own no help okay obviously my mom was there but <laughs> budgeting is also really crucial to know and understand when you move out because you have to pay for more than just your rent. I, I, I had to figure this out for the first time. I sure did think my utilities was included and it sure is not, but <laughs> figured that out real quick. So yeah, you have to budget, you have to create a budget. And also you have expenses that are other than just utilities and rent, like groceries, gas, going shopping, going out, like that stuff adds up, girl. I actually started shopping for my um, apartment and everything like a month prior to moving in. And that was a big help. Knowing that I was gonna have a good month before actually moving in, probably the best low key and worst thing ever because the anxiety I went through and the anticipation was awful. But I was able to really plan. I got everything I needed and I was able to move in and at least have a bed to sleep on. Cool, I just bought this little spinny thing today. That See, this is such an adult thing to buy. Like, I would have never bought this ever in my life, until now. Save as much money as you can before moving out because that will help so much. And if you already have a budget in place, then you're 10 steps ahead of me, girl, because not gonna lie, I'm still working on my budget. All right, so my parents came to visit and I'm getting help putting my TV on the wall building furniture, finally I'm happy about that. And uh, my sister and I are about to make some noodles because we did not pick up food today. 
um we just had a lot going on so we're gonna make some noodles in that new bowl that i got when i went to the store sister made us some noodles I was so hungry so this is literally all I've been eating <laughs> So my whole family left. <laughs> we were just all here chilling, everybody's gone. But guys, I'm really happy because today a lot got done with my place. My TV's on the wall. I have a dining room table set up. It doesn't have the right chairs underneath it. The correct chairs will come on Thursday, but whatever. I have a dining room table and everything's coming together really nicely and I'm super excited. I need to do my dishes, so I was about to do that, but I kind of want to show you guys the updates on the place since everybody's been here for some hours and it's literally 10 14. here is my dining room table it's just a black one these are not gonna go with it i just wanted to see what it would look like with the four chairs my mom all by herself built this side table and i really love it so i'm like really happy because everything looks so good mm -hmm. 